Tommy, the final game in that challenging run of fixtures. Uh, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, well, we'll be prepared as best we can. Um, obviously, we give the lads a bit of a rest after the two days, uh, the two games in the two days period over the bank holiday there. But everybody's been in the same boat, um, and it'll be one month crossed off the, the list. You know, you sort of you look at games in chunks, and t I would say most clubs would look at them month to month. And we had six games in what is it, twenty days? That's a tough schedule for everybody. Um, put in, you know, factor into that the travelling as well as the games that you play. And, um, you know, I think most teams or most clubs will be pleased to get to the end of August. But it doesn't much, get that much easier when you look forward. You know, there's, there's only one Saturday, the Saturday week in September. And, of course, with the, uh, the other competition possibly along, further along the lane, it means there'll be plenty of more football for us to play. The majority of our games have been against sides that have been new to the division this season. So does it make your preparation a little easier when we've got a familiar foe in Maidenhead? Well, it doesn't make it any easier. I mean, they're a very good outfit. Um, you know, people talk about positions and tables at this this stage. This shouldn't even be a table, as far as I'm concerned. We're all finding our feet with new new players added into a you know a core group. I'm sure Dev's no different to me in in that respect. So I don't get too up or too down at this stage of the season in in terms of the actual um, results. To be honest with you, it's the most important thing. But we're after a consistency of performance from players partnerships, sections of the team and then ultimately the team. And if we can set standards as we go along and, and continue to raise the bar on an upward curve, that's that's what we're trying to do. Something that's been definitely been a positive so far is the goals we've scored. We've scored a fair few of them so far, haven't we? So can we go into games with a bit of confidence knowing that, you know, hopefully we will be scoring goals? Well, it's the aim. I mean, I said it last season and we lost 60 odd goal contributions in the two lads that moved on. But I look at the group we have now and I, and I see goals all over the place. I don't see one being the particularly just a goal scorer. Um, but then Jack Barra might argue me, argue the fact that he's that and Harry Gandor might, might do the same. But I think, you know, James Henry and Kai Corbett, um, both, both people who play in wide areas, even the midfield lads, I think it'll chip in with goals. So um, the answer to your question is I, I'm, I genuinely believe we can score goals in every game we play. Obviously, I want to score more goals in the opposition, but I'm not going to get uh, too irate at this moment in time. I mean, we had to, we had to change the team uh, quite dramatically between the Saturday and the Monday games. And, uh, you know, without being disrespectful to any of the lads who played, if I had everybody fit, it probably a team I wouldn't have, wouldn't have picked, you know, as the best 11. However, was I comfortable with them taking to the pitch? Yes, I was. Should we have won the game? Yes, we should. So, you know, results will always have a, a higher or a lower... Um, level of acceptance, I think, of performance sometimes from from Joe Public. But I think as staff, we've got to look at the whole picture and think for what them lads had played so far this season, their output on the day wasn't too bad. Um, the fact they scored two goals was really encouraging. Um, it was just disappointing that we, we conceded one more. When a defeat happens like Monday did, do you put any work specifically on the training ground into correcting those mistakes or is it more a case of getting back into the routine that we had before that? A little bit of both. I think obviously we, we always talk about due diligence and how we look at the opposition. Of course, the staff start looking at the opposition a little bit before the players do. Um, but our, our week has always worked into the, the opposition on a Saturday or a Tuesday night, whenever that game is. Um, but of course, there'll be things we wanted, we would have wanted to do, we've done better um, at Tamworth. But Maidenhead are a very different proposition to Tamworth in, in that respect. They've got slightly different dynamics in terms of the way they play the game. They've got really good attack-minded lads in wide areas. So it is a different puzzle. So we won't be going over too much of what went wrong at Tamworth. Although the things that we did wrong ourselves, particularly on the ball, um, that's something that is an ongoing you know, work in progress. And, like I said, the vast majority of the lads who played, the vast majority of the minutes are doing really well. Their fitness levels are, are getting there. I always think about 10 games and you've got past pre-season and you're, all, you're game ready. But there was only, I don't know if people realise, but there was only three outfield players who played the full game on Saturday and then the full game again on Monday. And that wasn't my choice. That's, that's because that's the way the bodies are at this time. It was great to see AJ back and, and Ollie Scott as well. So that adds to the squad and, and that's always a good thing, isn't it? Absolutely, and I've said it from the beginning, you know, when we're all fully fit, we've got a really good, good, good squad, a very varied group of options in all the different areas of the pitch. Unfortunately, if I was to take that screen down and you saw the names on there, we, 
too many in the in the bottom line on the on the there, which means they're with the physio um, and not on the training ground. And that's been the way it's been since we've come back to training. We just can't help that. We had a little bit of a, um, a hangover from last season in terms of Jack Barham, AJ, Scotty, as you mentioned. Manny Madge has not been out of the medical room since he walked through the door. Um, so yeah, Christian didn't play anything last season. So all of these things, they're not excuses, they're facts. They're, you know, we've got to make sure that we manage the minutes of them lads through the week to make sure that they can play as many minutes as they can on a Saturday. So listen, we're, we're all in this, we all want the same thing in this room. We all want the same thing as a football club. We want to progress uh, and that'll only happen if we all stick together. So the lads who have been injured need support from the lads who are fit and the lads who are fit need support from the lads who are injured. And that's, that comes verbally and, you know, beating their chests and, and wishing them all the best before the game. But ultimately, every player wants to play as much of a part as they can. And I'm sure they'll be knocking on my door in a couple of weeks when I've got more than I need rather than just as many as I need.